ahead and uh, once you have your parts kind of designed here and on shape, how uh, the assembly uh, portion works. And so if you just come down here from your part and click uh, a new element, you can create an assembly for your parts. Um, so once I have that assembly uh, kind of uh, space open, I can go ahead and insert my parts into that assembly file. So I'll go ahead and click insert. And I can see that um, my current documents will come up. I have other documents and either, even uh, the option for some standard parts. So I'll go ahead and click to uh, put in my, uh, my uh, end cap part here. I'll go ahead and place that in the assembly. In the other documents, I'll go ahead and click on that. I have, uh, you have an option created by me. I created a tube. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, also insert um, this tube into my assembly. And if those are the parts I wanna work with right now, I can go ahead and uh, start applying some constraints uh, to, to make these uh, parts uh, assemble together. So up here, you'll see your uh, different assembly constraints. And so they look a little bit different than Inventor, but um, they uh, will do the same thing. Um, and so this first one uh, that I'm going to choose uh, is a Revolut uh, Mate, which will allow my end cap to be inserted into the tube here. And so you can see there's all different types of uh, constraints that you can use um, to be able to assemble your part. And so uh, what I'm going to do first here is I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Come in here and I'm gonna select again, just like an inventor, the uh, the edge that I want to select. And then if I just click on this side, I'll click the edge that those that, that edge should line up with. So what I'm saying is those two edges should touch. Notice that um, they are touching those two edges, except my cap is in backwards, so I can go ahead and flip the direction right here, just like an inventor, and I can uh, click the little green check mark when I have uh, my part uh, assembled, my parts assembled like um, I want them. Uh, so there's all, again, all different types of uh, different constraints you can use. So there's just a regular uh, mate constraint. One thing that I do like about uh, what this will do for you, it will uh, give you a definition of what that constraint is going to do. Um, so you can uh, see and how you constrain your assemblies together and use the, uh, the uh, tools that best fit what you're trying to do.